ARDS is something called acute respiratory distress syndrome. When you have ARDS and you are so sick that a ventilator will no longer support you, um, there, that is when um, ECMO comes into play. ECMO is extracorporeal membranous oxygenation. So it's essentially providing um, dialysis for the lungs outside of the bodies. And uh, it was ex enormously labor intensive. Respiratory ECMO, VV ECMO, um, non-COVID survival um, can be above 50%. Uh, COVID survival, um, it's, it's anywhere between uh, four to five patients out of 10 will survive. That's not good. But the patients we put on, 100% we're going to die. There's nothing else. That nothing else exists right now to get you over the hump. So one out of two of those patients were able to live and um, you know, get out of the hospital. And so uh, we got you know, our uh, first patient better. And you know, right around when he was starting to improve, we put another patient on and, and then we put another patient on. We just kept on putting people on because uh, we had some success. You know, like when you had that first taste of success, then you just keep on going and we spoke to people. There was a uh, consortium of Philadelphia hospitals and, and we, we spoke with them and they were also having success. So like really the Philadelphia experience, you know, helped inform the, uh, the rest of America and the European experience along with the New York experience. Um, these were really the early centers in the world and we were one of them. When you are sort of in the field, uh, trying to figure out solutions and make uh, make things happen. The ability to turn around backwards and say, hey, listen, I need this and this, and people's responses are, yeah, w tell us what you need and when you need it and we'll get it for you, it was very, very powerful. I never heard the word no. You couldn't get the equipment. This is the best part. You couldn't get the equipment because everyone wanted the equipment, right? And supply chains were down. And then there's a gentleman named Rob Rios, who's the head of our perfusion program, but it's just like, it's just a hero. Just because he's a well-known entity in Southern New Jersey and, and nationally as a perfusionist, um, you know, had lots of contacts and we were working through all sorts of alternative channels to secure equipment. Uh, and that just like, we hustled because that's what our patients needed. We tripled the, our ECMO fleet during that time. We went from having four machines to 12 machines so we could put on um, an innumerable number of patients on ECMO to give people a possible chance. These were people that were able to get back to their families, you know, like a police officer, a young kid wants to be a rap star. You know, these are like, these are people like who are home with their families now.